Anti-Semitism, a form of hate speech, exists at Mount Eden High School. Teaching anti-Semitic texts, such as the hidden tyranny on campus, violates HUSD's race and equity policy and California Education Code 220 that prohibits discrimination. Under the Ed Code, intervention is vital when students are in a learning environment that discriminates. The administration was made aware on December 13th, and they have not yet intervened by stepping into the classroom to help students in which under Ed Code 220 is allowed. We were informed today that staff has been directed to not use this material by the district. However, there's no accountability or evidence to demonstrate that this will result in the end of hate speech on our campus. In just one week, multiple students have come forward to share that they are in a learning space in which their teacher performs the Hitler salute. Students are in a space with an educator who discriminates. We are asking for safe learning spaces for students. There is no safety when hate speech and discrimination prevail. We are asking for you to help make our school a better place by ensuring that students are in safe classrooms. I'm here today because Holocaust denial and anti-Semitic hate speech are being taught here on taxpayer salaries, on taxpayer copies, in taxpayer buildings, and with the full knowledge of taxpayer employees hired to protect the safety and learning of our young people and overseen by you. I'm here today to sound the alarm about the appalling silence of our administration at Mount Eden High School and at the district level as Church of Satan and Jewish takeover conspiracies are spread. Our site admin has known since at least December 13th. They claim the assistant superintendent explicitly removed the work from their control and that they've been unable to do anything since then. My complaint here today is with our admin that have done nothing to remedy the situation. Our department has gotten no support as we struggle to address the anti-Semitism. They've done nothing to address the harm caused to us as people and professionals forced to work alongside someone who attacked our character and professional qualifications for objecting to anti-Semitism. They've taken no witness statements, even though they said they would. They've called in our protesting students in a way that has a chilling effect on their expressing their outrage. They've not used their power to teach a repudiation of the anti-Semitism. I have searched my mind and my heart to find any explanation for this disregard. And all I can see is silent complicity.